Hello, Wasra here, back with another video. Today is the second video in the Noob Trap series, and the focus of this video is going to be degradable items and or consumables that will help you out. It's incredibly difficult to get into the mindset of spending money to make money, and I struggled with that for the longest time. I remember not wanting to upgrade to Drag Wars because the Chitin scraps were so expensive, so I just stuck with Chaotic Rapiers for the longest time. In retrospect, the extra kills I would be getting with the Drag Wars would have paid for the Chitin scraps and then some, and I would have made even more profit, but I didn't realize that. There are there are situations where low level gear is useful, but they are far and few between. A good example is spiritual warriors, as we basically one hit them anyway, so the extra damage doesn't do much, and we have the free ghost hunter gear that gives us a big boost as well. So we don't need a tectonic rope top to get the most out of it. In fact, we only have it augmented for access to perks, so that's why I suggest using subjugation there. But as a whole, taking your best gear will more than pay for itself most places. To highlight that, I've loaded in what I believe to be the best in slot non-degradable armor. We have on a Ceridoman Godsword, which has its passive toggled on so that we can get some healing and prayer regeneration from it. We also have full bandos, an amulet of fury, a melee kiln cape, an active god book, and a luck of the dwarves. In terms of inventory, we don't have overloads as those are expensive, and we're relying on the passive for the majority of our healing, so we only have the drop cleaners to measure the amount of GP per hour and a superset for those little sp skill boosts. I decided to use Abbey Demons as a test subject because this should favor the lower setup more, as Abyssal Demons are weak to slash and you have near 100% accuracy on them with a base Cerado and Godsword. It should favor the non degradable setup, but it should probably still lose because of how much you gain from having a higher level setup. Over the six minutes we got 95 kills leading to 379k in loot but we have expenses. We used one dose of aggro potion and one dose of a superset leading to a cost of 102k which means a profit of 277k in those six minutes. Now if we move on to the high level setup we have augmented our bandos with some really good perks notably demon slayer, scavenging, and biting an Amulet of Souls, a Noxious Scythe with Equilibrium 4, Ruthless 3, and Precise 6 to maximize our DPS. Additionally, we have Cinderbanes on for poison damage. On top of that, our inventory is slightly different as we have aggro overloads, which cost about 40k per dose. We have some restores for prayer regeneration and a weapon poison plus 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 to help us do even more damage. Now let's do another 6 minutes. In the six minutes with the higher level setup, we got 125 kills, which if we take the similar loot to kill as the previous setup of 3.9k per kill, we end up with 499k in loot. But now we have to minus off the cost. We use divine charges throughout that, which led to a total of 69,000 GP. We had an amulet of souls, which cost 5k GP, laceration boots, which cost 500 GP, cinderbane gloves, which was 150 GP. We also had springs, which was 92k GP, and the one aggro overload dose was 40,000 GP. This leads to a total cost of 207,000, which when you take that off of our loot, we end up with 291,000 in profit, which is 14k higher than our previous profit. On top of that, we also clocked in a total of 111,000 experience, more than the 83.4k that we got in the first setup. So all in all, the second setup is way better to use at Abyssal Demons over the first, even though you're spending more money to get those kills done, the loot pays for the better items. Of course, that was a really small sample size, but it was just meant to be a case study. So what do you learn from this video? Basically, think of each item and its extra cost and determine whether it's worth it. Aggro Overload is 40k per dose, and a Superset plus Aggro Potion is 30k per dose. Is the Overload worth the 10k extra GP per dose? Well yes, because it only takes 2.5 kills to pay for it, as we get about 4k per kill, Basically, you have to go through each item and determine whether the cost is worth it. For example, in testing for this video, I found that Trim Masterwork is not worth using as the extra cost doesn't lead to enough kill per hour over Bandos to justify the extra cost, which makes sense because it's a degrade to dust item and we are killing a low level monster. Now let's pivot to a higher level boss and show it in a different light. Solak is a boss that has a massive upkeep cost. Just to do one hour of the boss, you're going to be paying tons to have a great setup. Some items that we go through each hour are Ripper Demon's Pouch, 200 Ripper Demon Scrolls, tons of spiritual prayers, spirit weed incense sticks, quorum incense sticks, our T92 armor, 
and on top of that the divine charges for our weapons. All of these things add up to spending a lot of money to kill the boss, but you know what? It's worth it. By having this setup we are able to get just under two more kills per hour in comparison with our earlier setup and each kill generates about 5 mil in loot per person on average. So while we are paying 2-3 to three mil to get those kills, we make it back and then more from those extra kills per hour, which I think is the best lesson. And even to this day, killing Solak feels kind of terrible at times because spending 2-3 to three mil per hour, you feel your cash stack go down and down until you get that big split. If you've noticed through my boss man videos, my cash stack continually goes down because that's paying for supplies as I'm not selling any items as they're either spirit shards or they're in the loot tab. So I have a real appreciation for how much items cost now. In conclusion, think about how much the gear slash item will cost you per hour to use and determine whether that item is worth it. For example, quorum incense sticks give you 10% more poison damage. If that gives you an extra two kills per hour at Abyssal Demons, that's not worth it because you're spending 200k per hour. Don't shy away from spending money to make money, but spend your money smartly. It'll bring your account to new heights. That's going to do it for this video. If you like the content I'm creating, consider subscribing. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and past that, I'll catch you in the next one.